So out here today from one of our customers who's getting an upgrade to five to the premises. Now MBN um, is basically they're going to put the uh, fibre cable because you can see there that's the leading cable coming in for his old service. Um, down here, all right, pretty crappy. You can see it's all chopped off, but they're going to use that conduit and that comes internally in his garage. So they're going to put the uh, external fibre box and the internal fibre box here. Now the customer originally wanted me to relocate where the um, where the box is going to go, but after having a discussion with him, because this is the garage, there's two separate sort of roofing levels. Um, so to run a conduit, um, to do that, we would have had to sort of come under this conduit here, but you sort of need sweeping bends on this stuff. There's no cavity, that's a single skim brick wall. Um, so realistically, the only way to do it is in conduit. Um, and it would have been tricky because, you know, um, with the sweeping bends and stuff. So what we decided to do is to leave the box inside um, here and then we're just going to run a Cat 6A cable um, and put a socket on the wall here. So this is a pretty basic job. But really, the reason why I wanted to make this video is to say thank you to everybody. We've got lots of new subscribers on the channel uh, from all over the world. And uh, we've just reached a million views. <laughs> Which is pretty goddamn crazy, considering I'm just a little small channel um, making these videos, which I never originally thought anyone would ever see. Um, I was only using it to use Google's uh, servers as storage. Um, we're putting them on there for YouTube. But eventually people started watching them and now we're at over a million views and uh, 3,500 subs. So thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very, very much. Um, so also too, what I thought I'd do, because we have reached a million uh, views, is I'll do a Q and A. So on the bottom of this video, if you want to leave um, basically some questions about, you know, what I do, services, anything really, um, I'll pick some questions and then I'll reply with a Q&A video um, answering your questions. So just leave your name, a question, and uh, I'll put a bunch of them together and um, I'll answer what you got. All right, so you can ask me anything, you know. Um, if it's too personal or whatever, then I might, might ignore it, but... You know, I'm happy to answer personal questions, whatever. So, all right. Okay, so did my first drill to take, because uh, basically we're going to put a socket here. It's going to stick it on a mounting block. So if you can drill inside the mortar, if the brickies are good, then generally you can pop back out through the mortar. So what happens if you try and drill through these bricks? Generally, these will explode on this end, and I'll leave like a nice big hole here. So if you can go through the mortar at any chance you can, it's usually a better way to do it. I'm going to obviously make this hole a little bit bigger. Actually, I don't even need to. It's only a Cat 6A that we're running now, so that's fine. And then we're just going to turn that up. So I'm going to put a one-way box here, going up. And then, um, yeah, we'll run it just under this conduit here. Okay, mounted my one-way conduit box over the hole. Ba -ba -ba. And did the same on this side here with the mounting block. Now we'll start the conduit work. Okay, so just a little trick I thought I'd show you. When you're doing conduit work by yourself, um, this is what I do if you can. Sometimes, you know, you can just put a screw in or whatever, but I just tie like a little piece of uh, bit of draw wire there, just to hold this up before I put my saddles in. Otherwise, if you're doing it by yourself, you're trying to screw one end in here and then that end sagging down, it's just a, a pain in the butt so if you do that it just makes your life a little bit easier um, but I'm not gonna this end here I'm gonna take this bend out um, I just wanted to get it so I can sort of see where it needs to come to because feeding 
the Cat 6A cable through that is going to be a bit of a drama. So I'll just do all the saddles first, then we'll remove this part here once it's nice and secure, and then um, yeah, make it all nice and straight. Okay, cable fed through to this end here, and mounted and drilled the hole through into the house for where the socket is finally going to go. And then we're going to link all this part up to this part here. Okay, so the conduit work now is mostly done. Coming through here, under that bit, up over here, looped around, and then down into there. So now I'll uh, push this cable through into the house, and then I'll do the same to that one, push it through into the socket there, the garage, put our ends on, um, run a test to make sure it's all Everything's got continuity, and uh, that'll be it. Okay, so both the sockets are installed now, so we'll just run a test on it. Boom, we're getting a pass. So that's basically it. So uh, yeah, just when MBN comes now, they'll mount their fibre to the premises, FTTT box um, here, just above my socket, and then they can patch straight out of the bottom of it straight into that which will take it through my conduits with my cabling to the socket that's on the other side of that wall okay so if you're in the shire and you need a you got a fiber to the premises upgrade happening um give us a call and we can come out and do the same for you and um yeah also if you've got any questions um like I said, leave the questions underneath here and then uh, for our millionth view, I'll do a, um, well, we're already at a million views, but like I said, uh, yeah, leave us a question and um, I'll do a video at some stage uh, answering your questions. All right, bye. Hey guys, it's uh, Jason here from Securicom. So if you're in need of some internet help, um, whether that is uh, getting a fault fixed up like a bridge tap or you have some sort of an issue on your MBN service or maybe you need to have some new cabling and sockets installed um, we provide a range of services to help you out there'll be some links underneath this video um, and you can click on those links and they'll take you through to our website where you can book my service alright thank you very much goodbye